what city you're from. That's always great. Uh, we also have our people on the line to answer questions tonight. So if you are on the line from Lorna Vanderhaag Health Solutions, please say hello to everybody and tell them who you are. And we have Jackie Barron tonight. And um, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about hormones. So my name is Lorna Vanderhaag. I'm a women's natural health expert, and I've been researching and writing on nutritional medicine now for over 35 years. I have a master's in nutrition. I've written 13 books um, on every subject from the immune system to heart health, uh, from arthritis right to women's health. And of course, tonight's talk is predominantly on women's health, but a lot of it affects our guys as well. So where do your hormones come from? All of our male and female hormones are derived from cholesterol. So although cholesterol gets a really bad rap, you have to have adequate amounts of cholesterol in order to make progesterone and estrogen and DHEA and testosterone and cortisol, your stress hormone. And so cholesterol plays a positive role. And they finally found out that in women who take cholesterol-lowering drugs like Lipitor, Mevacor, and Zocor, this actually disrupts their female hormones and causes estradiol to skyrocket. So if you are a woman who's listening right now or your mom or your grandma and you're on Lipitor, Mevacor, Zocor, or Crestor, I have a free book on our website called Your 30-Day Heart Smart Solution. Please go there and read the book. It's a quick, easy read, and it will help you get off those cholesterol-lowering drugs and get your cholesterol in the normal range. So what makes the difference between the woman who feels great at menopause? She can't figure out why her friends are fanning and flashing and crying and forgetting their keys because she feels wonderful. Well, the woman who feels great at menopause has good functioning adrenal glands. And your adrenal glands are two little glands. They sit on top of your kidneys and they are your backup hormone system. So when your ovaries shut down at menopause, which is going to happen to every woman, or if you've had your ovaries removed during a hysterectomy, your adrenals are supposed to kick in and make your hormones for you. And your adrenals make cortisol and DHEA, uh, testosterone, estrogens, and progesterone. And so if you're a younger woman listening to this talk tonight, you better love your adrenal glands because your adrenals are going to take you right through and if you take good care of yourself and you're not too stressed to the max, your adrenals are going to function properly. Women who are under a tremendous amount of stress, their adrenals are what we call too tired to make those hormones for them. And those women who have exhausted adrenals at menopause have a very, very challenging time. So we're going to talk more about the adrenals. The thyroid sits wrapped around your windpipe. And it is the master conductor of all of your hormones. It determines if you're going to be overweight or, or normal weight. It determines your body temperature. Your thyroid tells all your hormones what to do. And we have an epidemic of low thyroid in North America today. We have 26% of the population already taking thyroid medication. We have another 30% of people walking around with low thyroid that have yet to be diagnosed. So we're going to talk about how to get a proper diagnosis and what do you do when you find out what's really going on with your thyroid. Your liver is the functional organ for hormone function. It determines if your healthy estrogen is going to turn into cancer-causing estrogen. It determines if your progesterone is going to become estrogen. And your liver detoxifies hormones when they get too high. And so... If you've been drinking too much wine or taking too many over-the-counter pain medications, your liver won't be able to do the job it's supposed to do of detoxifying your hormones and keeping them in balance. So the liver is very important for hormone function as well. And your gut is everything from your mouth to your butt. And if you have gas, burping, bloating, constipation, or diarrhea, you will have hormone problems because your digestive tract is also involved in detoxifying hormones. And this is the reason why we tell every woman to take a probiotic every day. And we have a couple of great solutions at Lorna Vanderhaag Health Solutions. We have our new regular girl prebiotic and probiotic for gut problems. And we also have our probiotic plus, which uh, many of you may already be familiar with. Your fat cells are making tons and tons of estrogen. And the reason why the cancer societies tell women to stay in a healthy weight range 
is simply because their fat cells are making all this estrogen, which then increases their risk of estrogen-related cancers. So it's important that we stay in a healthy weight range literally to reduce our risk of estrogen-related cancers as well. The ovaries have been relegated to the bottom of the list because in every single woman, your ovaries are going to take a much needed rest at menopause. And of course, your ovaries are really important if you want to have a baby. So we've got to have good functioning ovaries and our ovaries also have little receptors on them for thyroid hormone. So now you know that your body is making hormones in many places even after your ovaries have shut down at menopause or even if they were removed during a hysterectomy. We just have to get all those systems working properly so that you feel great and your hormones are balanced. And boy, do we know when our hormones are out of balance, that's for sure. And one of the earliest warning signs that your hormones are out of balance is period problems. So, you know, back in grade six, they taught us about the birds and the bees and periods and pads. Um, and we all left that class very confused. What they should have told us is what I'm going to tell you now. So your periods should show up regularly. And what I mean by that is every 21 days, every 28 days, maybe every 30 days, but it does it the same every month. We count the days of a menstrual cycle. So day one is the first day of bleeding. And in the first half of the cycle, estrogen rises. And estrogen's job is to make your uterine lining nice and thick and juicy. So if an egg gets in there during ovulation, it has somewhere to live for the next nine months. Most women ovulate, that means popping out an egg, means you can get pregnant then, between day 10 and day 15. So if you want to get pregnant, you count from day 1 to day 10, and between day 10 and day 15 is when you most women are fertile. It can vary a little bit among women, but that's the average. And in the second half of the cycle, progesterone rises. If you actually got pregnant, progesterone would rise a hundredfold, and this would be to keep you pregnant. If you didn't get pregnant, progesterone will fall and this will signal the uterine lining to slough off and you'll have another period and it'll start all over again. And our periods should show up. We shouldn't know they're, they're coming. We shouldn't turn into a crazy person. Our breasts shouldn't swell up. We shouldn't put on all this weight and they should last three or four days. We shouldn't be in pain and they should go away and come back again. If you are having anything that is not normal, then that's your body telling you your hormones are out of balance. And what about the women who get the terrible, heavy, flooding periods? What's happening to them is in the first half of the cycle, estrogen rises and estrogen rises and the uterine lining gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And then when the period starts, it's like the floodgates open and you have this these terrible flooding periods, which two of them cause anemia or low iron, and then you bleed more. So we're going to talk about how to fix heavy periods in a couple of minutes. But heavy periods are caused by too much estrogen, causing your uterine lining to get too thick. What about the women who get terrible headaches right before their period? What's going on with them is their progesterone is falling too far, too fast, and this causes terrible headaches and sometimes migraines. And for those women, we use our EstroSmart Plus which contains Vitex, which enhances progesterone naturally to get rid of those migraine headaches along with some other things. So now you know what a normal period is. It should show up regularly. You shouldn't be in pain. You shouldn't feel terrible. It should last three to four days, go away and come back again. And if it doesn't, that's your body telling you that your hormones are out of balance. And unfortunately today, all our doctors do when you have irregular periods of any type is put women on the birth control pill, which I think is a huge mistake because what we're ending up seeing is 14-year-olds going on the pill to treat irregular periods. They don't get off it until they're 32 and then they can't get pregnant. And today we have one in six women of childbearing years that are infertile. And I think a lot of it has to do with using the birth control pill for everything except for contraception. And so that I think is a big challenge. So we have too much estrogen. That's probably a big news flash because most people, if they listen to the doctor or the drug companies, the drug companies and the doctors have been telling women we have not enough estrogen and that when we go through menopause, we virtually have no estrogen. 
Well, this is just simply not true. The highest rates of estrogen receptor positive cancers are in women over the age of 50. So obviously we're making estrogen somewhere in the body, but we're also getting estrogen in the environment. So a lot of the estrogen we're consuming is in our foods, pesticides in foods, dairy products are high in estrogen. When you're stressed to the max, you have too much estrogen. And too much estrogen is a big problem. You know, when you were a teenager and your estrogen started to surge, that's what gave you your great curves. And we all like that. But when you get too much estrogen as you get older, you turn into an apple shape. And this is when we get all that belly fat. And when we have too much estrogen, our thyroid goes low because estrogen blocks the uptake of thyroid hormone. Also, our estrogen and progesterone has to be in balance. Too much estrogen and your progesterone drops. And estrogen's like a fuel. It's a fuel for cancer cells. So when you have too much estrogen, it causes cells to grow out of control. So we think of the worst case scenario, we think estrogen-related cancers. But estrogen is also used to grow things like your uterine lining, uh, ovarian cysts, endometriosis, uterine fibroids. These are all caused by too much estrogen. And we don't need to do tests on a woman who has uterine fibroids to find out if she's estrogen overloaded. We already know she's estrogen overloaded because she has uterine fibroids or you have heavy periods or you've got breast lumps. This is your body already telling you that you have too much estrogen in relationship to your other hormones. And of course, estrogen causes weight gain and cellulite. Too much estrogen causes heavy periods, fibrocystic breasts, acne, ovarian cysts. It makes your migraines worse. Why? Because your progesterone falls when your estrogen gets too high. And all of the perimenopausal problems, so that's in the women in their 40s, you know, the endometriosis, the fibroids, the period problems, these are all caused by too much estrogen. And the reason why I care so much about this is that about 11 years ago now, maybe a little bit longer, I um, was diagnosed with uterine fibroids. And they caused terrible heavy flooding periods where I was literally chained to the house every month. And I went to a gynecologist who then <clears throat> did an ultrasound. And her recommendation was, well, you've got fibroids. Let's just do a complete hysterectomy and take it all out. And I said, well, I'd really like to go to the grave with my uterus intact as long as I don't have cancer. So I asked her what was causing these uterine fibroids. And I was talking to women who had endometriosis and period problems and, you know, a whole host of other conditions. And she said to me, we really don't know. So I left her office on a mission to shrink my uterine fibroids and get my periods back to normal so I could leave the house every month. And through that, I discovered that there are eight key nutrients so simple, basic nutrients that come from herbs and foods that have excellent clinical research to bring your estrogen back into the normal range, allowing your progesterone to go up. But most importantly, these nutrients stop abnormal cell growth. And like for me with the uterine fibroid, it wasn't cancerous. But if it grew into a three pound football, it was going to be very problematic. So I developed a product called EstraSmart for myself, and I started taking four capsules a day. Within two menstrual cycles, I could leave my house again because my periods had normalized. A year later, I went to the gynecologist, had another ultrasound, and my fibroids had shrunk by 11%. By year four, my fibroids had shrunk by 39%. I just kept taking EstraSmart. I got rid of the environmental estrogens in the dairy products and started buying organic food that didn't have pesticides. And it truly made a huge difference for shrinking those fibroids and getting rid of the heavy periods. So EstraSmart works for several conditions. And if you're a woman who's on the webinar tonight and you have anything like um, uterine fibroids, heavy periods, hormonal acne, endometriosis, HPV, cervical dysplasia, abnormal breast lumps, uh, all of these things can be treated using EstraSmart. And let's talk about acne because it's a big problem. We've got teenagers with really severe acne, and then we have 40-year-old women who also have terrible acne. Well, what's happening to them is that when they go to ovulate, that means pop out an egg, because of all the environmental hormones, they're not popping out the egg. 
And what's happening is the body's sending out tons of male hormones, D DHEA and testosterone and DHT, which causes lots of acne. And the doctors treat this by putting women on the pill to shut off all ovulation. But that's not a good thing, especially when you're a teenager and your body's just learning how to ovulate. The last thing we want to do is shut it all off. EstraSmart gets you ovulating properly, and then the acne just literally disappears. Why are the 40-year-old women getting acne again? Is because when they go to ovulate every month, on the way to menopause, you may not ovulate every month because your eggs are starting, egg reserve is starting to get lower and lower and lower. And when that happens, you'll get acne instead. So for those women, we give them EstraSmart as well so that we can normalize the hormones right up until they go through menopause. <clears throat> so this chart I put together so that you could look at what would be the dosages. So that if you have heavy periods or big clotting periods, you would take four EstraSmart a day. And one of the products that works really well along with EstraSmart to stop the big clots is Bone Booster. And Bone Booster contains an ingredient called vitamin K2, MK7, that works so well for a heavy clotting periods. And we also have a new product called Shepherd's Purse Tincture. And this squelches the uterine lining down so it stops the flooding, the bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. And you do 20 drops of Shepherd's Purse Tincture every three hours um, on the first day of your menstrual cycle while you're awake and sometimes on the second day. And this will just get your periods all nice and normalized. If you have acne, you'll take four to six uh, capsules of EstraSmart. If you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, this is a very unique condition. We see it in young women. They get acne, male facial hair growth, greasy hair, abnormal periods. They can have weight gain. Um, these women, it's a pre-diabetic condition and are, often takes a years and years and years to get diagnosed. And for that condition, we use four EstraSmart, and we have the only product that is Health Canada approved for PCOS called GlucoSmart. If you have uterine fibroids like I did, you would take four a day. If you have breast lumps, you would take two to four a day. If you have ovarian cysts, you take four a day. If you're trying to get pregnant, we have our EstraSmart Plus, which is enhances fertility. And if you have that really bad PMS where you just want to kill everybody, uh, you want to take EstraSmart Plus. Uh, EstraSmart can be taken by very young girls. So as soon as they're 90 pounds, um, if you have a teenager that's got lots of cramping and acne, they can start to take EstraSmart. And yes, for postmenopausal women, they can take EstraSmart too. And the reason why those women take EstraSmart is to protect them against the estrogen-related abnormal cell growth. So think about all of the postmenopausal estrogen-related cancers that we want to help reduce our risk of. And that's really what EstraSmart does is it stops abnormal cell growth and so reduces your risk of those particular cancers. And we actually have a Health Canada claim that states that EstraSmart will stop the conversion of your good estrogen into the bad estrogen, which is called 16 alpha hydroxyestrone. So it's a very, very powerful formula to protect women against abnormal cell growth. And we just love it. It's up in our top three selling products. And my staff that works in the office believes that we could just sell EstraSmart because it changes women's lives. Thyroid. So I said earlier, your thyroid sits wrapped around your windpipe. If you can see it and it's all swollen up and bulging, you should go to the doctor and have it checked. And your thyroid determines if you're going to be happy, sad, or depressed. Your thyroid determines your heart rate. So if you've got a regular heartbeat in your chest or your throat, you might want to go and get your thyroid checked. Um, your thyroid determines if you're going to get pregnant and stay pregnant. Your thyroid determines how quickly food moves through the digestive tract. So if you've got low thyroid, it goes very slowly through the digestive tract. And this is what causes the constipation. Your thyroid also is involved in cholesterol manufacture as well. So your thyroid basically is the master conductor of all of the symptoms systems in the body. So let's look at some of the symptoms. So if you've lost a third of your eyebrows and you know you didn't pluck them out, you could have low thyroid. 
thinning hair on the top of your head, especially on the part line. If you've got that, it's often low thyroid. Hair loss is another one. Constipation. You have no sex drive, none whatsoever. Um, You've got irregular heartbeat, dry skin. You're freezing cold all the time. You've got weight gain and you cannot lose a pound. Doesn't matter if you starve or run in the treadmill, um, brittle nails, heavy periods, infertility, recurring miscarriages. So if you've got recurring miscarriages or infertility, you've got to get your thyroid checked. And for women who have the never-ending menopause, so that's for the women who are still getting hot flashes and night sweats five, six, seven years after their period stop. Those women also most likely have thyroid that's not being treated properly. So part of the problem is the blood test. So when you go to the doctor and you have a thyroid test done, you have to ask your doctor for a copy of the blood test. So the range of normal at the doctor's office in Canada, it's a little different in the U.S., but in Canada, is 0.5 to 5.5. In order to be diagnosed with low thyroid, you would have to have a TSH above 5.5. So a 6, a 7, an 11, a 13. Then they would classify you with low thyroid. But we know from all the research that's been done on thyroid that if you have TSH above 2, you will have symptoms. But your doctor will still tell you it's normal, even though it's in the 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4 range. They'll tell you it's normal. But what you already have, if you've got a TSH above 2, but not bad enough to get thyroid medicine, is what we call subclinical low thyroid. And those women will have all the symptoms we talked about on the previous slide, but the doctor keeps looking at the test results saying your thyroid is fine, your thyroid is fine, your thyroid is fine. I'm here to tell you your thyroid is not fine and you need to ask your thyroid number. So when you get tested, always get copies of your blood test and you want your TSH to be below two. If it's above two, then you want to go on our Health Canada approved Thyroid Smart Thyroid Support Supplement. And what it does is it brings your TSH back down into the normal range and gets your T4 converting to the more potent T3. So this is an absolute superstar formula because you warm up, you start losing weight, you've got some energy, your hair stops falling out, which is incredibly important to us women. And you also want to make sure you eat protein for breakfast. So that's an egg, a chicken breast, a protein shake. You want pure protein for breakfast, A, because it jumpstarts your fat burning furnace, and B, because your thyroid will love you for giving it all that protein at breakfast. What about the women who are on the webinar who are already on Synthroid or Levothyroxine, which is T4 thyroid hormone? And when you went on those drugs, you felt pretty good. But then you noticed over time that your symptoms came back. What did your doctor do? Increase your dose of thyroid medicine. Did it make any difference? No. The reason why, after you've been on Synthroid or Levithyroxine for years, you stop converting T4 to T3. T3 is the more potent thyroid hormone. So giving you more T4 in the form of Synthroid or Levithyroxine isn't going to fix your problem because you're still not converting T4 to T3. And so what we do for you is you take your thyroid medication first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, and then at breakfast time, when you eat food, you're going to take two Thyrosmart. And this is going to get your thyroid medicine converting from T4 to T3, and you're going to start to feel a lot better. I think that most women in the northern U.S. states and Canada have some form of of subclinical low thyroid, and a lot of our health conditions are associated with this issue. At the beginning of the talk, I told you you better love your adrenals. Those adrenals are two little glands. They sit on top of your kidneys. They help you deal with stress. They actually secrete a stress hormone called cortisol, which helps you deal with the stress in your life. But those adrenals also make your hormones for you after your ovaries shut down or if you've had your ovaries removed during a hysterectomy, your adrenals are going to kick in and make your hormones for you. So what are the symptoms of adrenal exhaustion? 
So one of the first and biggest symptoms is you fall asleep fine, but you wake up several hours later wide awake and can't fall back to sleep. That is just a classic symptom of exhausted adrenals. And so giving you all kinds of sleep aids isn't going to help because what we've got to do is support and nourish your adrenal glands. Difficulty handling stress, salt, sugar, and coffee cravings. Inflammation, that means you've got sore joints, but you're only 25 and you don't have arthritis. Belly fat, weight gain, crying jags, and you used to be able to have a couple of glasses of wine, but now you get drunk on one. We call it alcohol intolerance. These are just some of the symptoms of exhausted adrenals. Another big one is three o'clock in the afternoon, you have the big slump, you know, where you'd rather go to bed, but instead you have coffee and cookies to get you going again. And so the fastest way to fix your adrenals is to say no and get some balance in your life, get adequate rest and take good care of yourself. Most of us are not going to do that because we're working hard. We're looking after our families. We're taking our kids to sports in the morning and doing laundry at 11 o'clock at night. And so if you're in menopause already, you want to take Adrena Smart every day until you're through the menopause transition. If you're under a lot of stress, you want to take Adrena Smart. And um, it's one of those great products you can take intermittently if you're under stress. For example, our accountant only takes it at month end when there's lots of pressure. So Adrena Smart should be taken at lunchtime or mid-afternoon with a protein shake or, or some protein-based foods. Uh, and this will help to bring your nighttime cortisol levels down. The reason why you're waking up at 2 o'clock in the morning wide awake and can't fall back to sleep is literally because your cortisol is peaking in the middle of the night telling you to get up, get up, get up. And for those of you who had came on the webinar a little bit later, I want to tell you that we have Rihanna, our registered holistic nutritionist, who's been with me for many, many years, and she's helping to answer questions. So if you wonder why she's answering your question while I'm talking, that's why. And I haven't mastered talking and answering questions on the computer at the same time. Uh, Jackie Barron is also on the line, and she's been with Lorna Vanderhaeck Health Solutions for many, many years as well. And she's probably helping uh, Rihanna answer the questions as well. Uh, we have a great team at our company. We hire lots of registered holistic nutritionists so that they can give lots of advice. And our company motto is Women Helping Women. And we really take that seriously. And that is the reason why we give away so many free books is so that you can read the book and then help another woman by passing your book along. So we learned about the thyroid. We learned about too much estrogen. We learned about the adrenal glands. Now we're going to talk about menopause. So you've learned that during menopause, so the word menopause means one year with no periods. But the time frame going up to menopause, perimenopause, is the 10 years before menopause. The average age of menopause is 52. So if you're in your 40s, you're in perimenopause. You don't have to get tested. We already know you're in perimenopause because you're in your 40s. Um, as you move closer to your periods stopping altogether, sometimes your periods become irregular. And that's what we see often in perimenopause. In menopause, what we see is the periods might show up one month and then disappear for three months and then come back, you'll get two in a row and then you won't get any for seven months and then you get one for a whole month and then finally they all disappear. So menopause, the actual word though means one year with no periods and what do we do for menopause? Well, it's a transition. So just like when you got your periods, you may have had some tumultuous times may not have all been effortless. That's because it was a transition when you just got your periods. And after the body worked it all out, then things became regular. Well, menopause is sort of the same. The periods are stopping. So we call it a transition. It's not a disease, even though it may feel like a disease. And we treat the symptoms because they're going to go away. And menopause should last about 18 months. And as I said earlier, if you are still getting hot flashes and night sweats five years later, then we've got to look at your adrenals and your thyroid. So I hope that you got that message from the earlier slides I talked about. But when you're in menopause, you got to look after certain things in the body. We're going to talk about bone health. We're going to talk about skin health. 
Um, eat more broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, cabbage, and kale because they're the hormone balancing vegetables. You want to make sure your thyroid is below two. And that is the magic number below two. And we, if, and I'm going to say if, because not every woman gets hot flashes and night sweats at menopause. A lot of women get anxiety and panic attacks and feelings of foreboding or crying jags or severe anger where they're screaming at everybody. So there's very different symptoms at menopause and we have something for every symptom so you don't have to suffer. So if you have hot flashes and night sweats and mood swings, you'll want to use our MenoSmart Plus and you take two at breakfast and two at bedtime. We also have a personal lubricant called Love for vaginal dryness and you don't have to be in menopause to use it. It's absolutely wonderful. And if you're in menopause, you want to take Adrena Smart at lunchtime. And why do you take Adrena Smart at lunch? It's to bring your nighttime cortisol levels down. A lot of women in menopause have a really hard time with insomnia. So we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. But Menosmart Plus is a safe, non-estrogenic formula. None of our products contain soy. We're completely GMO-free, soy-free, gluten-free, and we take that very, very seriously. So what about the women who have the anxiety, the panic attacks, the mood swings, the mild to moderate depression? And, you know, after the Women's Health Initiative study was halted, that's where they were studying Premarin and Provera. And they halted that study because women were dying of heart attacks and strokes and breast cancer. So they stopped the study and told women not to take Premarin and Provera. But what happened at that time was really bad. Because our doctors didn't know what to give women to help them through menopause, they put them on antidepressants in record numbers. So huge numbers. So the yellow line on this slide is the number of prescriptions written for antidepressants after they told people not to take hormone replacement therapy. And so if you're on antidepressants and you want to come off, and a lot of the antidepressants can cause up to a 60-pound weight gain in a matter of weeks, So be very, very cautious if your doctor wants to put you on them. And only the people with severe depression should really use antidepressants because there are much better things in the health food store. And one of the much better things is our 5-HTP. Now, the key is with 5-HTP is it has to be enteric coated. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So make sure you read the label. And we have a product called Smile. Now, we have on our website a one-hour audio program on how to get off antidepressants naturally without any symptoms and side effects. And so if you want to do that, please re- listen to that and then go get enlist your doctor's help to give you declining prescriptions of your antidepressant. But for those people who have, you know, anxiety and feelings of panic and are just feeling agitated all the time, our smile is a great alternative to help you deal with that, along with some magnesium bisglycinate and our new B-Smart B-Complex. Let's talk about insomnia, because I discovered when I was doing research about insomnia is that women who don't sleep, they actually have higher rates of low bl- of high blood pressure, and they also have higher rates of Alzheimer's dementia. So chronic insomnia is not a good thing. And you want to get seven to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep at night. So we've already talked about the kind of insomnia where you fall asleep fine, but you wake up in the middle of the night and can't fall back to sleep. That is caused by adrenal exhaustion. So if you have that, you take two Adrena Smart at lunchtime. And that's to bring your nighttime cortisol levels down so that you don't wake up at 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning then you have to have a pitch black bedroom. And I mean pitch black. Your bedroom should be so black that you can't see your hand in front of your face. And why? Because when you have a pitch black bedroom, your brain will secrete melatonin. And melatonin is the sleep hormone. And I absolutely love melatonin. I've been taking it every night since I was 20 to help reduce my risk of breast cancer. And so if you are not falling asleep or you're falling asleep, waking up, falling, not falling asleep, waking up, just having terrible time with sleep, then you want to take melatonin at bedtime. If you take too much, you will feel groggy the next day. 
So we have it in two forms. We have it in a little sublingual pill that you can cut in four. So the whole cat, the whole pill is three milligrams. You cut it in four and you get a tiny amount. So you can try that and you pop it under the tongue. And that form is great for kids because it's peppermint and chewable. And then we have it in capsules along with sleep herbs. So we have it in our sleep smart, which is melatonin with sleep herbs to knock you out and keep you asleep. Then the third type of insomnia is caused by magnesium deficiency. And that's when you get into bed and you feel like bugs are crawling all over you and you can't stop thinking and you've got restless legs and you've got cramps in your legs and twitchy eyelids. You need magnesium bisglycinate. And the fourth type of insomnia is the kind that occurs after menopause and it's very severe and people have tried everything to treat it. The only thing that I have found that works is Prometrium, which is bioidentical, natural, micronized progesterone. And you take 200 milligrams at bedtime and it'll knock you out. Now, some people only need Adrena Smart. Some people just need Sleep Smart. Some people just need magnesium bisglycinate. Some people need it all. And some people need it all plus Prometrium. What is the goal? Deep restful sleep, no caffeine after lunch. And if you have insomnia, do not exercise at night because this causes your nighttime cortisol levels to go up. Let's talk about skin. And I have a new book called Beautiful Skin Begins Within. And that book is free when you buy two skin products. And so it's a great book. It's all on natural ways to get rid of the wrinkles and have beautiful skin combined with some of the topicals and the cosmetic treatments that are non-invasive. So it's a really fun book and it works very well to get your skin back into beautiful shape. So let's talk about one of my favorite skin products. It's called GLA. And GLA is a fatty acid that is found from the borage seed. So the borage plant is grown in Canada and we take the seed and we press it, we cold press it and we get this beautiful a fatty acid called GLA. And the reason why I like borage is because it has the highest percentage of GLA. Evening primrose oil only has a tiny bit of GLA. That's the reason why I don't like it. And fish and flaxseed oil don't contain any GLA. So if you take fish oil, you still need to take GLA. Now, when when um, the only human food that contains GLA is breast milk, and after you finish being breastfed, your body's supposed to make GLA from the food you eat. But people with eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, and dermatitis cannot make GLA from their food. And that is why they have those skin conditions. So if you've got eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, red rashes, then you want to take GLA every day to treat those. And this is also fantastic for kids who have eczema. So if you've got a two-year-old with eczema, they need GLA as well. And then when we women go through menopause, we can no longer make GLA from our food. And that is the reason why our skin gets dry and dull and lacks that beautiful glow and also wrinkles so badly. So I absolutely love GLA. I wouldn't go a day without it. I drink it straight out of the bottle. I love it so much. We have it in two forms. We have it in a liquid and we have it in capsules. And I prefer the liquid because I can drink lots of it and I can also put it on my, my skin as well. Let's talk about replacing collagen. So collagen is, I think last year it was like the hottest nutritional supplement out there. When I went looking for a collagen product for myself and my girlfriends, I was horrified that the collagen that was being sold in health food stores and pharmacies and grocery stores was slaughterhouse waste. So cow parts, pig parts, uh, people were so embarrassed about their collagen, they wouldn't even tell you where it came from. I have since found out that the cow collagen, they take cow hide, they put it in this big vats with lime, and they make this lime slurry with the cow hides, and then they take the, the dry it off, dry it all up, pulverize it, and make it into a powder. So never use the cow collagens. That's absolutely disgusting. And there's no research with them. Absolutely none. So 
For myself, I wanted to have a clinically researched collagen. And so I went to the French in France who did amazing research using a hydrolyzed uh, fish, wild fish collagen and elastin. So not just the collagen, but the elastin polypeptide product. And they took two groups of women. They measured the, the depth of the crow's feet wrinkles, also the elasticity, meaning how much your skin sags and the moisture content. They gave one group of women 2,000 milligrams of active collagen. One group got fake pills. By day 28, the group getting the collagen had a 20% reduction in the number and the depth of deep wrinkles, which is pretty incredible. And by day 84, the crepey eyelid, dry skin was disappearing, the moisture improved, and the chin was starting to tighten up, so the elasticity. And you could do this little test on elasticity. So take the back of your hand and squeeze the skin like this between your other fingers and hold it for a couple seconds and then let it go. It should drop down quick. If you're 80, it probably goes, yeah. If you do it to a two-year-old, you can't even see the skin drop back down. That's elasticity. And so collagen and elastin polypeptides will rebuild the collagen in your skin, and do a beautiful job. So we have active collagen, which is a clinically researched collagen and elastin polypeptides from wild fish. And this product is just absolutely outstanding. We have it in capsules. We also have it in powder. And the powder is an organic raspberry flavor. It's absolutely delicious. You can add it to smoothies or you can put it in yogurt. It's really good. Here's just some of the pictures from the clinical research, they measured the depth of the crow's feet wrinkles. And by day 28, the wrinkles had reduced in depth and number by 20%. And the longer you use it, the better it works. And I always tell people, take an up close and personal selfie because you want to see the difference and you will be very, very impressed with this. What if you're a vegetarian and you don't want to use fish collagen? Well, we have another collagen called Collagen Plus. And this contains choline-stabilized orthosilicic acid along with biotin. And it gets your body making collagen. And it gets your body making collagen in your hair, your nails, your bones, and your skin. So it increases the keratin to make your hair shiny and strong and grow super fast. It makes your fingernails super hard and grow fast as well. It increases bone density by 2% in one year based on DEXA, which is incredible. And you get beautiful skin at the same time. So people always ask me, which of the two collagens do I use? Well, I use both because I'm also trying to build nice, strong bones. And that's the reason why I use the Collagen Plus. But if you're in vegetarian, you want to use the Collagen Plus version. If you want super thick, strong, shiny hair and nails and bones, then you want to use Collagen Plus as well. And if you've got osteoporosis, and one in three women are going to develop osteoporosis, which is terrible considering it's a preventable disease, my two favorite products for preventing and treating osteoporosis, one is Collagen Plus, which we just talked about because it increases bone density by 2% a year, and Bone Booster, which keeps all your calcium, magnesium, and other minerals in your bones to keep them nice and strong. Hair loss. Somebody had sent me an email before the webinar saying, please, please, please talk about hair loss. There are only two reasons for hair loss. A, in women, low ferritin. Ferritin is your iron storage. Your hair follicles on the top of your head where your hair grows out of, are full of ferritin. When your ferritin levels decline, your hair falls out, goes gray faster, gets crunchy and dry and breaks off. So this is for people who've got this will want to get their iron checked and you're going to have your hemoglobin and your ferritin checked and your ferritin has to be around 70. Um, And then people with low thyroid, which we talked about earlier. So if you have a TSH above two, This will cause hair loss. We want your TSH to be below two. So here's a few things we need. We use for hair loss. We use our Iron Smart, which is our non-constipating iron that raises your ferritin quickly, 
and your and we use Thyrosmart to get your TSH below two, and we use Collagen Plus so that when the hair starts to grow back, it's nice and thick as well. I've got a few slides on weight loss, and then I'm going to look at the questions and see if I can help everybody. Uh, so my favorite weight loss supplements are all Health Canada approved. So I have no idea why Dr. Oz talked about raspberry ketones because there is not even a rat study using raspberry ketones. We want to talk about clinically researched weight loss products that have science behind them that actually do something. There are over 12 human studies using CLA, and CLA is a fat that burns fat. And they research CLA in people with type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, belly fat. And the reason why I love CLA is because they studied post-menopausal women. So that's the hardest group to lose weight. You know, that's our moms who have got tons and tons of belly fat and extra weight and can't lose it. And they gave these people 5,000 milligrams of CLA. And in 90 days, they all lost on average seven pounds. Some lost more, some lost a little less, but seven pounds. Can you imagine if they actually changed their diet and ate protein, green veggies, and healthy fats? So CLA comes in capsules, and you do about five to eight capsules a day with food. But we put CLA in my protein powder because I couldn't swallow the capsules. And so our Protein Smart contains a whole bottle of CLA in the protein. And two scoops of Protein Smart will give you 5,000 milligrams of CLA. And Protein Smart is absolutely delicious and yummy. I put, I make a shake in the morning and put all my other supplements in it, my Collagen Plus, my GLA. I pour everything in, my um, active collagen powder, shake it all up and drink it on the way to work. Skin tags. If you have four skin tags or more, you're already a pre-diabetic. So this is your body telling you that you have a blood sugar and insulin problem. And so if you're already developing skin tags, you want to get, you want to change your diet. You want to have protein, green veggies, healthy fats. You want to eat five cups of vegetables a day. You want to reduce your alcohol intake. And we have a product called Glucosmart, which I am also in love with and take every day. And Glucosmart works to bring your blood sugar and insulin back into the normal range. And the reason why I'm so crazy about it is because they did 30 clinical studies, 30. And what they found is people were reporting their belly fat was disappearing. And so about a, a little over a year ago, I was well over 155 pounds, too much travel, not enough good food. And I was really starting to get big. And so I decided, well, you know, we've got this great product called Glucosmart. I'm going to take it every day. I started taking two capsules a day. If I had a glass of wine, I took another capsule. If I had a cookie, I took another capsule. And I lost 18 pounds in, in just under seven months. And that was effortless. I mean, I did change my diet to more vegetables, healthy fats, and protein. But it really wasn't that as difficult as I thought it was going to be once I got focused on remembering to take my Glucosmart every day. When you buy Glucosmart, you get my free book, a Smart Woman's Guide to Weight Loss, which is a $25 value, which has a six-week eating plan in it. And when you buy, buy Glucosmart at the health food store, please ask them for that book. They also have nine clinical studies using Glucosmart for polycystic ovarian syndrome as well. So if you have PCOS, this is definitely something that you'd want to know. Um, this is our website, hormonehelp.com. Uh, the book that the whole talk was about was A Smart Woman's Guide to Hormones. 